everybody and welcome back to another mini series that I'm doing, Return to the Fang. Yes, that's right guys, we are taking this channel back to its space wolfy roots. For those guys that don't have any clue what I'm on about, this channel started off as merely a space wolf army blog back in the annuals of history. So guys, if you want to you know, get a bit more in depth of you know what this, where this channel came from, go right the way back to my older videos and you will see some absolute abominations which should be deleted off the internet. But anyway guys, so let's kick off with uh, the next, well, this video. Um, I am going to obviously follow on from my last video, which was a review of the, be quiet, compressor, which was a review of the uh, Murderfang uh, Dreadnought kit. And guess what, guys? I've been painting, as you can see by the melee around, and the fact that I've just put a painted Murderfang Dreadnought right in front of your eyes, or right in front of the camera, shall I say, right in front of your eye holes. So, guys, let's uh, get a zoom in, and let's have a look. Uh, I just need to actually free up my, uh, my camera. There we go, so I can sense it. Look at that. Beautiful. That's some pro status camera work that is. So guys, let's have a look at this guy. Um, I've got to admit, this was really fun to build. I wasn't looking forward to it in the beginning, um, mainly because of the amount of detail uh, on, you know, I wanted... Um, I didn't want to paint that much. However, guys, got to admit, the airbrush made this dreadnought absolutely fantastic uh, in regards to just getting everything done. As you can see, I've kind of done like a different technique on the individual panels. Now, it looks an awful lot better in real life. The camera's actually showing it up really bad. Um, but I kind of, after I put the wash over the gray, I kind of poofed on some little um, extra bits of gray in between, in, on the actual surface of the panels themselves to kind of do like an inward highlighting effect, which I think turned out pretty well. Um, it does look really bad on camera though in real life it actually looks amazing and um, so guys uh, let's uh, take a close look at some of the the detail that i painted so as you guys can see i kind of i didn't go for the actual face of murder fang because i you know it's a cool sculpt but i just prefer the helmet plus with this helmet being white i can tie it into the rest of my army um Basically, these guys are going to be reinforcement for my steel fangs. I've not actually thought of a name for these guys yet with the grey armour and the, the white helmet and the gold trim. So guys, if you want to put a comment in the doobly-doo down below as to you know what I could name these guys, um, that would be really, really awesome. Basically, this is an army that's going to be consisting solely of Terminators and other cool bits and bobs, considering I've got a shit metric shit ton of fucking grey hunters in like storage somewhere. But anyway, so I kind of went for this uh, front panel here. I didn't want to go for Bjorn Sarcophagus because it's Bjorn's, basically. Uh, I did decided to go for the helmet. Um, I've gone for just basic gold trim. Now, this isn't actually gold trim. This is a combination of, again, just... No, that's tinny tin. That's not rust. That's not the one that I wanted. This is a combination of um, rust and, uh, if I can spy the other colour, uh, which I actually can't. I don't know where it's gone. It's a combination of, of rust and bronze. So painted rust and painted bronze over it. No washing whatsoever. It just turned out really, really nice. Uh, I've gone for like your standard blue gems. You've got a little red gem kicking about there, and even some green gems and stuff. You know, just to break it up from the, from the blue, just to add a bit more, a little bit of a splash of colour. Uh, let's move on to the um, to these claws. I gotta admit guys, on stuff this big, gradual shading with an airbrush is absolutely fantastic. This thing is a absolute godsend. I am happy that I bought it. Um as you've gone for a bone effect on the um, the skull that's encasing it. Was going to go gold, but I thought, nah, it would be a bit too garish, a bit too gold. Um, also, the um, highlight, the accent colour on this, on these miniatures are going to be um, yellow and red, or just plain yellow. Because, well, I've got an airbrush now, and again, I can paint yellow a lot easier. I've gone for the uh, the wolf palette hanging down there with a bit of a green gem going on. And, um, yeah, just I kind of wanted to use the, as little, little detail as possible, just so it was A, easier to paint, and B, didn't detract from everything. Him. Um, so guys, uh, please let me know what you think. Oh, so we also got some delicious AK Interactive um, oil effects going on here. But let me know what you think. Now, some of you eagle-eyed viewers out there will notice what's wrong with this miniature. In my haste to put it together and paint it, I actually forgot to uh, put on the heavy flame and storm bolter on the arms. So I was a bit fucked off with that, to be honest. But I'm just going to say, you know, the inside, you know, in the palms of the fish, not the contempt has. Um, so uh, there we go. We can do that. Um, we can just say that. But yeah, guys, this this kit is just amazing. I mean, if we if we decide to, look, I mean, do you know, what, fuck it. I'm gonna pop in the corner down there a picture of the one of the classic Space Marine dreadnoughts. I mean, just look at that kit compared to this kit. I mean, they've stepped up their game massively. Now, I know that obviously technology has moved on, everything like this, but this guy is awesome. Whereas this guy, well, let's face it, baby got back. I mean, he's just like, look at that ass, man. He's just like, I like 
big butts and I cannot lie. You other brothers can't deny. When a dreadnought walks in with an itty bitty waist and a round thing in your face, you get shot in the face of an assault cannon. Oh god, oh my days. Don't know what came over me then. A little halo of madness appeared around me. So anyway guys, um, thank you very much for watching. It's been a good five minutes this episode and I'll see you guys again, possibly with some Terminators. So guys, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you guys again. Don't forget to like, favourite and subscribe and leave a comment and I'll see you guys soon. Goodbye.